limited government. As citizens we have not always had rights. The first form of a written constitution is called the Magna Carta written in 1215. The ruling class didn't trust King John of England. The goal was to provide some laws for protection from the king. Two of those laws found in Clause 39 and Clause 40 lead to basis of legal systems such as habeas corpus. Clause 39 states no free man shall be imprisoned or dispossessed except by the lawful judgment of his peers or by the law of the land. Clause 40 says to no one will we deny or delay rights or justice. Let's jump to 400 years later to 1625. King Charles I tried to enforce a tax on the people of England to pay for a war with Spain. When members of the ruling class refused to pay, they were thrown in jail. Five of the imprisoned men, known as the Five Knights, tried to invoke habeas corpus. King Charles said he is the king and doesn't need legal reason. The members of parliament created the Petition of Right was reluctantly endorsed by King Charles and protected the rights of the British people. Yes. The English Bill of Rights was signed into law in 1689 and was seen as the inspiration for the United States Bill of Rights. The English Bill of Rights contained a list of King James' bad deeds. The English Bill of Rights The 13 articles that outline specific freedoms for the English people it included things like the freedom of speech and parliament the freedom to bear arms for self-defense and the freedom to petition the king. These ideas are foundations of the American government and the American Constitution. These are the beginnings of individual freedoms that we find in our own American government.